A new art center in Uptown is giving artists their big break by offering affordable workspaces in a very busy section of Charlotte. Artists have the potential to be exposed to hundreds of people each day based on foot traffic alone. Queen City News reporter Brett Baldeck is live along North Tryon Street in Uptown with a look at this new space that's in a familiar building. Good morning, Brett. Hey, good morning, Ann Wyatt and Jason. So first, let's explain where we are. We are in Uptown, right off of North Tryon Street, right across the street from the Charlotte Ballet. And this building that you see behind me has been here for a very long time. It was first a Sears department store way back in the day, and then more recently, it was the Hal Marshall Center that was owned by Mecklenburg County. But in March of last year, it opened as the Visual and Performing Arts Center. And it's giving artists not only a place to show off their work, but also an affordable workspace. An art presence is healthy for a community. It's necessary to, for a community. In the Queen City, you'll find art on nearly every street corner, but things weren't always this way. When I came to Charlotte, I saw so much talent and not the representation that should be for the local artist. The idea behind this 158,000 square foot building in Uptown is to bring artists under one roof for viewing by everyone. The public has accessibility to the artist. It's an open door. You'll not only find a gallery space here, but affordable working space. Artist Kevin Harris moved his studio here from Concord, taking advantage of the public exposure. Many of his pieces feature people he has met. I love people. I love engaging and talking to people, and I love trying to find that happy place in, in people. What, what drives you? What moves you? His paintings are capturing people in the moment. An exhibit consisting of his work from a two-decade career will open soon. The art is his reflection of the black experience in America. The art consistently changes um, because we live in such a, a tumultuous time, a, a turbulent time that things are going on in the world. His role as an artist has also changed from being one of the few black artists in the community to one that others look up to and inspire. If I'm going to get into this, I want to be in a position at some point in my life and in my career where I can change that narrative. So if you want to check out the exhibit with all of his artwork, including some of the ones that you saw in that story, it opens this weekend right here at the Visual and Performing Arts Center. As for this building, there is plans to add more signage and, of course, more out art outside, leaders tell me. So then it will be easier, if it isn't already with the art on it, for people to spot when they are driving through Uptown. And Wyatt and Jason, back to you. Brett, what a cool place and uh, so much potential there. You showcased Kevin and his exhibit from 20 years uh, of his career. How many paintings does Kevin plan to display? Yeah, so he has to wean it down to uh, about 50, but he told me, you know, again, this is 20 years. He told me he's picked out 75 to 80 that he would like to put on display, but again, he has to wean those down to maybe about 50 to 60, but still, that is a lot of pieces of art for a 20-year career. And 